We are headed into the final four games of the regular season here in Chicago's junior year. We are currently sitting at number three in the top 25 polls and atop of the Big Ten leaders division at a perfect 8-0. We are still currently the front runner for the Heisman. That has not changed at all. As we head down to the field and get ready for this next matchup against Nebraska, and remember, our goal this year is to win the Heisman. If we can do that, Chicago will be declaring for the draft at the end of the year. As we're opening up against Nebraska, a third and 12. That's going to be completed across the middle for a first down. Robinson now back to throw. Rolling out to his right. Pressure coming. He gets it off in time across his body. That would be completed for a first down. First and 10 now. Back to throw to the end zone on the corner route. Beautifully placed ball there from the junior quarterback. And we would go up. Nebraska would come down, though, and tie it up at seven apiece. As Robinson rolling out, that's going to be completed. A tiptoe catch there by Matt Brown along the sideline. As we are now down seven to Nebraska, unranked. They started off the year hot, but they have slowed the roll. We're looking to continue our win streak here, and it's not going to happen if we're down like this. We should be taking care of business against Nebraska. First and ten. Going to the end zone. That's going to be caught in the back. What a throw. What a catch. Those are the throws that are showing that Chicago is ready to go pro. As that would bring up our next drive. First and 10. Pressure coming already. Rolling out. We're going to loft this one right side. That's going to be completed as it's tied up 14 apiece here. Third and 13 now going deep across the middle. That's going to be completed. He makes a defender miss and he's going to take it into the end zone for a touchdown. As we go up now by a possession 21-14 across the middle. That's going to be completed to our tight end for a first down. Keeping this drive alive. Looking to go up two possessions on third and four wide open across the middle is Matt Brown he's inside the five and into the end zone for a touchdown as we go up 28 to 14 start of the fourth quarter quick check down to our tight end that's going to be completed for a touchdown but look at this our kicker missed an extra point again without fail every episode he is going to miss an extra point but now we're just pouring it on Nebraska another touchdown and we're going to end up walking away with a big-time victory over Nebraska in this one. Was a little close at the beginning, but we found our way and lit them up and take this one 48-21. to 21. As that's going to bring us to a matchup against Iowa. Rematch from the Big Ten Championship last season. They're currently 8-1, ranked number 10 in the nation. So this is going to be a tough matchup. Iowa definitely wants to get some revenge for losing in the Big Ten Championship to Chicago in the Illini last year. So we're going to start with the ball, third and nine, looking for our first conversion of the day on the corner route. That's going to be completed, and we would pick up the first. Second and 10 now in the red zone, looking to score. We are dangerous in this position. We're going to step up. Chicago can't get into the end zone. He's going to be about five yards short. So on third and three, quick slant route. That's going to be completed for a touchdown as the Illini strike first here. And Jamal Smiley is going to break a record set last week by Matt Brown. So those two are going to be going at it all season to see who ends up with the final record at the end of the season. As this is going to be completed to our tight end down the right sideline. He has some room to run and he is going to be caught just short of the end zone. First and goal to go. We're going to look to make it a two possession game and we're going to do just that. Matt Brown on the slant route. We connect with him. We go up 14-0 but somehow our defense Gives up the lead. It's tied 14 all here as we're going deep across the middle. Jamal Smiley, another touchdown to his name. What a move there as he finds his way into the end zone. And Iowa's going to stay right with us. It's tied 21 apiece. Looking to score before halftime. Look at this off-balance throw falling backwards across our body. That's completed for a touchdown again. Chicago, he's going to set a new record for passing touchdowns in a season at 59 showing us why he could potentially be the number one pick in this upcoming draft is Jamal Smiley cutting right in front of the safety coming down with that he's going to take it to the end zone for another touchdown and now we're starting to pour it on we're clicking on all offensive cylinders here against Iowa we're going deep for Smiley again what a pass from Robinson put it exactly where it needed to be and on second and 15 rolling out to the right on the run to the end zone, and that one is a little off. Not a great or a advised throw to even try from Robinson. He may be great, but he couldn't pull that one off. 
That would be an interception, but we're going right back at it. Same spot for a touchdown this time. We go up 42-21, make it 49-21 as that's completed to our tight end. And we are just pouring it on now. And Iowa cannot get the revenge. We're going to blow them out in this one at home as well. Make it 2-0 against Iowa, 49-28. We take the win. So that has finally moved us up to where we wanted to be at the end of the season. Even though we still have two games left in the regular season, we are finally at the number one ranking with Oklahoma and Boise State behind us. So that brings us to our next Big Ten matchup. We are headed out to Bloomington to take on the Hoosiers of Indiana. This could be a sleeper game for us. This is a game we should win, but hey, sometimes those are the games that get you so we gotta lock in stay undefeated and get this win against indiana opening up first and goal already a touchdown on the board from our defense and we're gonna get our first offensive touchdown of the day there but hey never fails to happen a missed extra point from our kicker so it's 13 to 7 that's going to be completed to Matt Brown for a touchdown. We're going to go up 19-7 to because, hey, why not miss another extra point? That's two missed extra points. I don't know how this kicker is still on our team. It's 26-14 as we move to the third quarter. Robinson stepping up. He's going to avoid one defender. He's going to launch this deep to Jamal Smiley. He has it inside the five. What a catch. What a throw from Robinson managing to slip a tackle. Keep his eyes downfield, and that would set up that easy touchdown pass to his tight end. First and goal, we're looking to do it again. Exact same play, exact same result. We go up 40-17, to 17, fourth quarter action. I'm surprised Robinson is still even in the game. Third touchdown pass to his tight end there. As that would wrap things up in Bloomington here, this ended up being a pretty easy game for the Illini, and they take this one pretty single-handedly, 47 to 17. So we have one game left in the regular season. Win this, and we are headed to the Big Ten Championship. We're at home, we're wearing our all Navy sets, and it is against our toughest opponent of the year, going up against none other than Wisconsin. They stood in our way last season to the Big Ten Championship. We have to go through them again to get to the Big Ten Championship this year as well. They're already up 7-0, ranked number six in the nation. We're going down with an injury here, and Wisconsin's going to go down and score. So they're up 14-0 here, less than a minute to go in the fourth, first quarter. And we have to get to work, trying to find the end zone here. That's going to be completed to our tight end. We finally get on the board. But Wisconsin would go down and tack on a field goal. So it's 17-7. to Right side to our tight end on the corner route. Wide open. He's going to slip a tackle. And he's going to take this deep into Wisconsin territory. Third and seven. We need a conversion here. Looking left side to the end zone. Into double coverage. And that's going to be intercepted. Not a great throw from Robinson. I don't know what he saw in that coverage there. It wasn't even close to being open. We would get a stop on defense, though. We're going back to Jamal Smiley down the right sideline. That would be completed. Looking to put on some points right before halftime, and we would find our tight end again. That play never fails on the goal line. As we head to the second half, we're only down three now. Could be a lot worse. We were down two possessions at one point. Third and two. We're going to take it on the power option. One defender to beat. It looks like we will beat him inside the 10 and into the end zone. Chicago Robinson showing off his wheels. He is sneaky fast. He doesn't really run a lot. He much prefers to stay in the pocket, but when he needs to, he can show off his wheels as that's going to be completed again to Jamal Smiley down inside the five, second and goal now to the end zone. And our tight end is there without fail for a touchdown. So we're up 28 to 24 over Wisconsin. Third and 14, Robinson back to throw on the corner route. It's our tight end again, forced out of bounds. First and 10, just outside of the 10-yard line at about 10 and a half. And that's going to be intercepted. Robinson trying to force it on the slant route. But thankfully, our defense is going to get a stop. It's only 24-28. A touchdown on this possession could seal the game as that's going to be completed to Matt Brown. First and goal. Slants again. This time, our receiver is open. And we find Jamal Smiley for a touchdown. We're going to go up 35-30. to Wisconsin would score. But ultimately, we would get the stop, we would kneel out the clock, and we're going to walk away with a victory to cap off another undefeated regular season. 
over Wisconsin, and this win will send us to the Big Ten Championship. So we finished the season a perfect 12-0, one game ahead of Wisconsin, and Michigan is going to end up taking the Big Ten Legends Division at 9-3 on the season. So we are currently still number one in the country with undefeated Boise State and UCF behind us. We're going to finish our junior season with over 5,000 yards. 72 passing touchdowns and four interceptions, two of them coming in one game against Wisconsin last week. Those are some ridiculous stats. And rushing, we're going to finish with only 198 yards. We're going to average about five yards a carry, though. And we did have two touchdowns on the season on the ground. So that is going to bring us to next episode, where we are going to take on Michigan and see if we can repeat as Big Ten champions.